was hot as hell in St. Louis, and Ed Hickox is behind the plate calling every outside breaking ball a strike, getting the game over with, or just can't pick up on it, frustrating everybody, both sides, both teams. Everyone getting annoyed, all the pitchers understanding, ooh, I can just use the outside to get myself a strike. This one's brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you to DraftKings. And Trevino calls that one. That started outside, never really came back, and he's just kind of, I'm a catcher, so I'm enjoying this as well. Looks at Boone. Mm, God, okay. Now a big spot in the game. Base is loaded. Yankees are down by two runs. It's a fifth inning. There's no outs. They can attack here. Marwin Gonzalez is up. They try to go outside. Two outside. That's a ball. 2-0. Fouls it back. Outside. 3-1. Fouls that fastball. Full count. Strikes him out instead of walking in the next two-tying run, the fifth run. Marwin's upset. Boone, he can't believe it. Holding it in for now. The pitch is pretty way outside. Ball four. Should be a run. Should still be bases loaded. No outs. Next batter, DJ comes up, and they're going to attack him outside again, and they get the call, and DJ's thinking, what the hell? And he looks at Boone, who's yelling, not even close! Shit! What the fuck are you looking at me? I'm not the one messing up out here. Next pitch, that one's dotted by Stratton, but now DJ knows that outside is exposed because it may be a strike, so he chases. They, that's, that's really good pitching by Stratton and Yachty calling it because watch the first pitch. We saw this one. He gets the call outside strike. So then the next one, he throws it again, but it's actually in there for a strike, gets the call again. So they're like, well, let's just move that outside again because DJ is going to have to protect against it, and DJ chases it because he doesn't know what it's going to be called, and he's out. Now Judge comes up, curveball in the zone, smashes that. That ties the game. We're moving, we're jumping. No one's mad at the ump anymore. We're over it. It's come and gone. These kids are excited. Let's go. Carpenter's up, outside, too far outside. Then the curveball outside, a strike, and they're like, come on, man, again? Just because you keep calling it, Eddie, Just because you keep calling it doesn't make it a strike. You're gone. Get out of here. Boone takes the gum out of his mouth, tosses it. That's what he always does. He needs a clean mouth to argue. And he says, you just keep calling it. It's not a strike. Just because you keep calling it doesn't make it a strike. It's fucking hot out here. But I don't know how you can stand there and see a ball that fucking far off. You have three fucking two with the bases loaded, nobody out, and it was that far off the plate. I don't know how you can stand back there, look at that, and call it a strike. And Eddie's like, I was so hot. What are you talking about? And he says, come here. Look, I'll show you. It's that far off. Come on. Come follow me. And umpire just follows him and says, okay, what are you showing me? A fucking ball. I understand he's throwing gas. All right? I get it, but those pitches are not even close. You got the game on the fucking line right now. Let's go. And he's out. And umpires just stand there like, I'm 60 years old. It's hot as hell. And you want me to just call 100 mile hour pitches, balls or strikes, an inch off the plate? We're not. I, why, why, why? Why? This should be a robot's job. Booney leaves, and he gets to go enjoy the AC while Hickox has to stay in the game. Hot as hell. This one was brought to you by DraftKings. Thank you to DraftKings for sponsoring the breakdown. In all honesty, I don't blame umpires for missing strikes and balls at all. The game moves so fast. It's hot as hell out there. And we got 60-year-olds standing for four hours in the heat with multiple layers on and a mask And we're saying, hey, tell me if that ball is an inch on the plate or not. It's traveling at 90 miles per hour. It's a ridiculous job. And quite frankly, they're a little too old to be doing it. I don't understand. I don't understand why that is what it is. I mean, if your 60-year-old dad, you found out he was just standing in the 99-degree sun for four hours straight, you'd be worried about him. (laughs) And these guys are doing it and held accountable to keep up with the best athletes in the sport. Something's got to change about that. It's not their fault they missed these calls. It's an impossible task. 